There is no more poignant moment for a soldier than the eve of battle. Blues and Royals, Lifeguards, Grenadiers, Coldstreamers, Scots Guards, Royal Welsh Fusiliers, Green Howards, Rifles, Anglians, Horse Gunners, Engineers, Gurkhas, a roll call of history from Blenheim through Waterloo and Alamein to the present day, and with all the supporting arms and services and allies that we have here today, Americans, French, Estonians, Danes. But tomorrow is not the eve of battle, nor are we alone. Our aim is not to crush the Taliban, but to win the people, and that is why this is not a battle. We stand here today not alone, but as partners with our Afghan friends. In the past few weeks, we have trained to be a combined force. Soon we will be part of an operation the like of which has not been seen since the start of this campaign. Operation Mosterak, or in English, Together, I can think of no better name to describe this venture. For we are in this together. We've planned it together. We will fight it together. We will see it through together. Afghans with allies, soldiers with civilians, government with its people. In the last few weeks, we've seized the initiative from the enemy. Day after day, for six weeks, we've killed and captured the enemy's leaders, shaping the conditions for success. Soon, we will clear the Taliban from its safe havens in central Helmand. Where we go, we will stay. And where we stay, we will build. We will establish security so that the people are free once more to live their own lives under their own government. The next few days will not be without danger. To reduce the risks, you must know your enemy. Avoid the places they would expect you to go. Stay off the tracks. Check vulnerable areas before you enter them. Watch out for propaganda traps. Be first with the truth. Above all else, protect the people. Defeat the enemy by avoiding civilian casualties. Hold your fire if there is a risk to the innocent, even if this puts you in greater danger. That kind of restraint requires courage, courageous restraint, and this you have shown throughout our time in Afghanistan. Offer an open hand in friendship to those who do not wish to fight. They can join the people of Afghanistan and their government in rebuilding the society. For those who will not shake our hand, they will find it closed in a fist. They will be defeated. And with my Afghan friends, I'm proud to be one of your commanders. Together, Operation Mosterak will mark the start of the end of this insurgency. I wish you Godspeed and the best of luck. <laughs>